So when I pick meetups, I don't pick meetups at random. I pick meetups by going to the meetup website, looking at all of the different meetups, and then I pick meetups based on two criteria. Number one, how many people consistently attend that meetup? So I don't want to go to a meetup with 10 or 15 people. I want to go to a large meetup, right? As large as I possibly can. There are two kinds of meetups. One where you go in and a presenter presents and then you network. The second one where before a presenter presents, they allow you to do what is known as haves and wants, right? So this is a meetup where you get to stand up and for 30 to 60 seconds, say what you want to say. I only go to meetups that have haves and wants. It makes me presenter for a minute. I am the presenter for one minute, for 60 seconds. No one else in this room talks. Everybody listens to me. That kind of meetup is 10 times more powerful. How many people actually write it down? How many people craft it and say, this this is excessive. I'm going to take this and make it shorter and make it more punchy. What are the words I'm going to start out with? Because the first five seconds are all important. My 60 seconds is, hi there, I'm Neil Bawa. I'm the mad scientist of multifamily. I can tell you that absolutely gets everyone's attention. When I say, I'm the mad scientist of multifamily, everyone turns off their phones and it's like, okay, I want to listen to the mad scientist. This is why I have this nickname. I manage $320 million worth of people's money, but I have a nickname like that. Why? Because I said, what nickname truly describes me? Why mad? Well, because the mad part is what gets 99.9% of the attention. If I said I'm a multifamily scientist, nobody would look at me. So the key thing is those 60 seconds, you have to make an impression to make people remember you at this meetup. Make sure you're boisterous, you're energetic. I show up at the meetup. I always show up early. Why do you show up early at a meetup? You might say, you know, that's a waste of your time. No, it isn't because there's a process, a system that you're following, right? Then I immediately go to the, to the, the person that runs this meetup. And if there's two of them, then I go to two of them and I talk with them separately. And for each one of those two people, I go up to them and I start out by introducing myself and then thanking them for the meetup. Now, most people do this. They say, thank you for holding the meetup. But I actually do something else. I explain to them why their meetup is a great value for the community. But if you tell them why they're important, why they're important, why they contribute, then they remember your face. And then I make my next request and I say, by the way, I'd love, you know, if you ever have a challenge with a presenter not showing up the day before, I have lots of interesting presentations that people are fun and people want to watch them. I'd love to come over and present. 